Hello, everyone, and welcome back to New Pantheon Academia. I'm your host and storyteller, Stephen Pope, and we are going to be playing Overarms by Rookie Jet Studio Games tonight. Uh, this is Saving Throws anime-inspired action show, and we're going to go ahead and meet our table, starting with someone ready to kiss, kiss, fall in love, Kelly Nugent. Oh, whoa! Okay, was not expecting my name there. I... I, I feel different. I don't know. I feel like the energy is going to be, I don't know. I feel different. Okay. I'm going out of order. All I, right. don't, I, I just don't know. Like, why do you, why are you being so different right now, Steven? It's scaring me. You know what? You know what it is? I got a new computer this week. My desk, I can actually see my desk for the first time in like two years. I'm not hunched over trying to see my laptop. Like everything's different and I'm okay with it. So let's embrace the change y'all. Yeah. Change. 30, flirty, and thriving. Absolutely. I am definitely <laughs> 30. I do not think I'm flirty. And I'm definitely not thriving, but I'm doing okay. Awesome. I am Kelly Nugent. I'm playing Iris Snow. Um, she's afraid of everything. Her divinity is, um, we use divinity, right? Yes. Divinity? Yeah, okay. Her divinity is Kali, the goddess of life, death, everything, infinity, nothing, all that. So I love it. Well, they are a digital monster and digital champion. Uh, R.I.P. Nika. Oh my God, we are so out of order today. I know. Uh, <laughs> chaos. Um, hi, I'm Mika. I play Dolly Wingrove, your lovable theater kid, uh, who is so positive she can never say no. Literally. Um, and she has the divinity of Persephone, who is the goddess of vegetation and plants. But even half the year, she's the goddess of the underworld, which is pretty great. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> and finally, it's time to da -da 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 Aki. Wow. You say, you say <laughs> finally, but I do believe there is one other person in this I, party. I'm aware. I'm He's aware. just trying to throw us oh. off. I, I I didn't <laughs> understand what's happening here. Hi everybody, I'm Aki. I play Emancipation Brown, uh, whose divinity is Maat, the Egyptian goddess of truth, justice, and harmony. Um, and they are a incredibly ditzy um, uh, and deeply enabling, uh, lovable sort of bless their heart kind of a character. Um, and uh, that's, that's, that's that. <laughs> bless their heart. That's the perfect way to describe Manny. And finally, this isn't even their final form. It's Eric. Hi, everyone. Uh, welcome. Uh, I am playing uh, Lennox Thatcher. Uh, who is the 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 jock of the group? You know, he's 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 a rich rich boy, and he's a jock, and he ha and he has the the Sumerian goddess Ninkasi, who is the goddess of of wine, also bread, maybe water too really? sometimes. Yeah, it's kind of like it's kind of like anything yeast? to do with with yeast. like yeah yeast, wheat, yeast. that kind of stuff, cultivation, but yeast mostly and beer. Yeah. Wow. You love to hear it. All right. So, uh, before we get into what happened last week, let's go ahead and talk about our unlocks for this week. Now, Saving Throw is more or less entirely ran by your tips. So, if we make you cry, make you feel, make you laugh, maybe drop a dollar. It keeps the lights on. It keeps our entertainers paid. It, it's really important. Um, like for Mini Marker, who dropped a very charming $12.34. Thank you very much for that. Uh, so... At $60, we have re-rolls for the table. At $120, we have, uh, uh, um, oh. we have all players will recharge their HP for a full heal. Hmm. Not, not sure why that's there. Uh, okay, at 180 they get uh, a full recharge to their AP, which is what they need in order to use their divinity. Uh, hmm. Oh, I wonder what else we there. Uh, next up, we have Ignore the Conditions, a free full heal for the table. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. It's a combat episode. Steven, what are you going to do to us? Oh. Oh, I It's I'm our hour from the last week. We just did role play only. Yeah. Listen, if you're going to introduce a, a, a cute goth uh, GF ghost, then we're going to be best friends with her. Yeah. I expect that, but you're, you guys, 
have a mission, if I recall. But I oh oh hey hey, this is some this some this sounds like something I actually wanted to write. Okay, uh, at three hundred dollars. Uh, a second key, you'll be able to take one of your existing divinity keys as a full divinity. That's right, I will stat up uh, um, basically anima and powers for any of the keys you have unlocked throughout the campaign. This includes Quetzalcoatl, uh, Dionysus, Skaven, uh, Sun Wukong, Baron Samdi. And finally, at 500... Uh, shoot for the moon, and sometimes you'll find uh, the one there to beat you. Uh, we'll do a NPA bonus episode, so you'll get the full season and this episode, where we'll play a one-shot of Teens in Space. You are teenagers. Let's put you in space. And Colin, in the next five minutes, we'll throw in the food processor. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? I, I don't need your sass, good sir. I don't need your sass. But you can fund it in the next 10 minutes. It'll be engraved <laughs> yeah. for you. What? Personally. The, the official Ronco rotisserie system. <laughs> Set it and forget it. It can cook 12 chickens in five minutes. Whoa. <laughs> it's, it's scary. scary. <laughs> it's scary. <laughs> My God. Those poor chickens. <laughs> Now, also, if you subscribe, you will be uh, immortalized in New Pantheon Academia as a student. What clubs you belong to, what grade you win, everything like that, you don't have a say in. I do. If you want to say in it, you have to check out our Patreon. But... Aki and I are immortalized. Yes, you are both immortalized as punks. As bad kids. Punks is a good way I, to describe that. I believe that, yeah. that Kelly and Eric have also proven to be not particularly great kids. Like, <laughs> yeah. there's a there's a squad running through this school of, of menaces. They're yeah. just running around causing trouble. Being they have my face and they're they're using it for nefarious purposes. You ever Wait, notice how how he he did this for all of us that he personified us all in the game and made us all like bad I, people. I'm actually pretty yeah, sure I that we endowed ourselves that way. And I and have no comment. Just ran with it. Hey. <laughs> so, last week was Parents Week, where we got to see why you are all like this. Namely, Dolly has actually got some pretty great parents. Manny's parents, they mean well. They really mean well. Bless their hearts. <laughs> and Iris and Lenny, you don't get people like this without parents like that. But you also found out that you Absent. are not... Yeah, they're, they're absentee. What are you going to do? Be sad about it. That's what you're going to do. So you also found out you four are not the first kids at North Point Academy to have divinity. In fact, it sounds like there's been a history of it. And you met someone who passed away while fighting with her divinity. And her divinity was the Morrigan, a.k.a. the Phantom Queen herself. Uh, Kim as uh, she introduced herself, now resides at the North Point Cemetery as, as Eric described her, a hot goth ghost GF. I don't know how you can date a ghost, but you know what? If you know how, please uh, write us a letter and send it to the Saving Throw Studio so I can read that. I, I really want to know now all of a sudden. You don't know how you can date a ghost? Have you ever seen Ghosts with Patrick Swayze? Yeah. They don't date. You just have to do pottery. Yeah. They do pottery. That that did happen. Okay. Now, if you date a ghost, does Whoopi Goldberg come with the package? Listen, we'll send Whoopi you the AO3 links afterwards. They'll they'll explain it all. Explicit sort by kudos. That's what I'm gonna say. <gasps> I feel like Casper is also a decent, uh, uh, tutorial. <laughs> okay. All right, Casper. Casper, I'll give you as well. I'll give you that as well. Did they date? They got as about as close, I think, as you could get. They did this. Yeah. There was that. That did there happen. Had three yeah, with it, not it, Winona Ryder. With not Winona Ryder, he did that. It was Christina. No, it was Christina Ricci. Ricci? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was Christina Ricci. And I'm sorry, Why but Casper, so it's not, she doesn't want to be with you, not because you are a ghost, but because you look like a baby. Yeah. He does. <laughs> Like a and that's why I grew a beard. <laughs> but he walks through that ghost machine. He looks like Devin Sawa. So he, yeah. I mean, I was like, oh, hello. 
It's fine. <laughs> I think pretty much any uh, any person with eyes said, "Oh, hello." Yeah. <laughs> This episode, along with the one where we establish that everyone kind of low-key has a crush on the Fox Robin Hood, I'm learning a lot about y'all. I'm learning a Wait, lot about y'all. Wait, that? Wait. That, I don't that think was, that was with us. Uh, that, 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 that was happened, a different cast. Uh, that happened on uh, a few seasons ago. <laughs> the original series. TOS, if you will. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm anyway. just saying a, a pirate shirt <laughs> makes a man. That's what <laughs> a I'm pirate saying. shirt. I don't want to wear the pirate shirt. Wow. So. Off to a great start. Yeah, we're, we're nailing it. We're great at our jobs. You also found out that the Dean of North Point Academy, Dr. Ash, not only seems to know of divinity, used to be able to kind of possibly give divinity or something. He had club, He had a team devoted to that until whatever happened with Kim happened. So that's where we're picking up this week. As the four of you are crammed into a, well, I say crammed, it's actually rather spacious and kind of beautiful elevator ascending the North Point Academy clock tower. Once you reach the top floor, it opens and you are greeted with a beautiful vista of North Point, Oregon. And you could see the campus below you and you could see out to the coast. And sitting there at the front desk, is uh, Owen Lean, the secretary, who's also a subscriber. Thank you very much. Owen looks up at the four of you, then returns to their computer, types in something real fast, and goes, oh, uh, yeah, um, you, you're you here to talk to uh, Dr. Ash, right? Yeah. Oh, great, great. Uh, you can go on in. Cool. Four of you make your way from the elevator past Owen's desk into what you expected to be an office, but turns out to be a weird mishmash of library, laboratory, and office. And a pleasant uh, middle-aged black man uh, is sitting at his desk reading a book uh, before he notices the four of you enter. He closes it and gives you a warm smile. Ah, students, how can I help you? I think you might know why we're here. Um. Was that smooth? Um. Yeah. yeah. I, I guess we'll wait and see. <laughs> no, I think you, I think you, you totally nailed it. Thank you. Um. He blinks at the four of you, a little confused. Four students coming to talk to you in private? Um, hmm. Well, generally, if you are looking to uh, establish a club at school, there are paper. there is paperwork to fill out. Um, How about a key club? Yeah, like what? a key party. I don't no. think he would know about the keys. But he would maybe oh, understand shoot. a divinity club. Ooh, good one, good one, Manny. He gives a very, he gives a very surprised smile. <laughs> I'm. Our friend Ken told us to come talk to you about opening a divinity club. Wink, wonk. Wink, wonk, indeed. He gets up from his desk and he closes the door behind the four of you. Um, how were you able to speak to Kim? I mean, we just are. Are we supposed to like, like, is this the part where we were like, are we still being coy? Uh oh, we Iris is about to, to ask the beans. We need to ask you a few questions first. I think we, I think a conversation is definitely in order, uh, Mr. Brown. Firstly, how we were able to speak with Kim is not currently the concern, but it does have to do with the wider issue, and that issue is the Phantom Queen. <gasps> <gasps> 
I don't know why I was shocked. I, I assume you Manny, you were supposed to gasp too. Yeah. But why would I do it when I'm not surprised? Uh, That's a good question. I don't know. Trauma. I just, I did it because like I thought I was supposed to. It felt like it was the time, but I wasn't shocked. I did it because statistically um, it's dangerous to stand out in a group. Oh. Everybody but yeah. stands out a little bit. Yeah, yeah. The, it's individuals. The, the Phantom Queen. That's. I'm, I'll be honest, guys. I think I'm, I'm, I'm losing the thread here about what, like, what we're supposed to be saying and what we're supposed to pretend we don't know yet. We didn't have a plan. We didn't have a plan. I tried to come up with a plan. I wrote it down. I gave it to all of you. You all conveniently lost the plan, and now I don't. I have no idea what we're supposed to be doing. So you are aware that the Phantom Queen is an issue. Yes, I've been trying to take care of her for a while now. And but if, if you know about Kim, then you know the Phantom Queen wasn't always an issue. Indeed. How and is, do you know why the Phantom Queen is now an issue? Sorry, Manny. You're fine. You're asking the questions I want to ask anyway. Yes. I don't know what exactly happened to the Morrigan. I have attempted... All right. Without being coy, what information do you know? Because I don't want to start throwing out jargon. That's going to just leave everyone with more questions. Unfortunately, you know, oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> As you I can tell, cool. we're very excited. <laughs> Unfortunately, at this time, we don't trust you. I don't blame you. I believe. How about you just tell us what you know? And if, right. you and if you don't, well, we have ways of figuring it out. Yeah. Do we? You do. Oh, thank you, Q Times, for the raid. Hey. Hey. Uh, well, he goes over to a glass case with photos and keepsakes within it. I started the Divinity Club. Lovely name, much better than the name I originally had for it. I called it the School Safety Society back in the day. Uh, Iris! Oh, uh, what? Coincidence? I will investigate that later. <laughs> yes. I started the S3, as I called it, back when the club, back when the school originally opened. I knew the school was a, well, sort of a hot spot for paranormal incidents and also the home of the gate, as I call it. As you can see here, we had Vampire 54 and Artemis 2814 one year. They had a thing about fours that year. It was very popular. Sometime in the early aughts, you know how it was. Uh, here we have the Great Sage under heaven. I called him the Great Sausage under heaven one time, and he never forgave me for that one. So Jander was also a member. They were all great kids. Um, I had to pick them, actually. I would find students who I thought were capable and showed promise, and I would gift them divinity. Obviously, How not a practice you continued. After what happened with Kim, I didn't feel like it was appropriate. So you just stopped? I decided it was uh, something for the adults to take care of. You deserve your childhoods. You're doing a great job. That's a yeah, lie. You're I mean, not. You're not doing a great job. I mean, the Phantom Queen's kind of like ravaged the campus a couple times. Everyone was stuck in nightmares for a bit. And it seems like only us four were taking care of it. And I didn't see any adults around. But hey, maybe I'm just not looking at the full picture. There is much more she's been up to that you are unaware of. Hmm. It would Why? be nice to be filled in. <sighs> she, well, while you were busy with the auditorium fire and he kind of gives you a smirk because he knows what happened 
She was also trying to break into the elementary campus, try to uh, steal Solar Six, had to take care of that. There was a time she possessed the lunch ladies, was going to do a mass poisoning, had to take care of that. I'm. That does you, make sense because I remember I, I was asking the lunch lady about uh, protein uh, uh, substitutes and she picked me up and threw me across the lunch hall. Uh, I just took it as like like the lunch person was like really like like just in, in a good like like in the zone. But like, oh, that's guess, just how Margo is. Yeah, like like yeah. I just assumed Margo could like pick me up and throw me. Oh yeah, no, Margo, I don't. He looks around as if he expects one of your parents to pop out of something. I don't fuck with Margo. All right. <gasps> Serious business. Whoa. Whoa. Um, I apologize so for the language. If, if you knew about the auditorium fire, then you must have known that it was us four that had divinities. So why did you act all surprised when we walked in here and I said, I think you know why you're here. And then you made me look dumb for saying that. I didn't know it was you for. I knew there were students who had something. I wasn't sure if it was divinity. I've never heard of someone receiving divinity without doing the, well, corroborate. The what? The what? <laughs> he kind of laughs. It's, I learned it, uh, for my grandfather, basically a ritual that blesses you with the power of gods. I, it's what I would do. Are you aware of exactly what's going on with the gods right now? Because right now it doesn't seem like you are. I'm aware they're missing an action. I don't know much else. They're being made into keys. Well, they have been made into keys, all of them. Yeah. Keys? And they're all being kept in front of the gate, and Loki's been helping us. But um, right now, only like what? Not, ten? Have ten seven. Or nine keys? There was five originally, and then since then, Baron Sandy's key has been released. Loki's key has We've also been got Orpheus. And Orpheus. I think there's eight. No, but then there's also. The rat key. Oh, sorry, sorry. And Scaven. Yeah. And, and uh, we all have an extra. So yeah. It's a Scottle, Dionysus. I think it'll be a lot easier if I just make a chart. <laughs> There's a. There are nearly right, fifteen right, right. Um, right, keys right. that have been unlocked. Which, which, which? What's the extra key you have again, uh, Lennox? Uh, uh, so it's uh, Sun Wukong. Sun Wukong. That's it. We have. I oh, believe. All of the original keys, as well as our own. That is very surprising. Wait, are you able to see divinities, Dean? Uh, he snaps his finger. Behind him appears a giant statue of jade. It looks like it's been uh, crashed. It reminds you of a broken vase that's been kind of put back together. The pieces floating around each other. Uh, like rings of Saturn. My divinity, the Jade oh. Emperor. I want to snap and have Persephone show up behind me. Yes. Uh, Persephone, one of the more human appearing uh, divinities, makes her appearance. I'm going to like strike a little pose, but yes. she's free to do whatever. Ooh, yes. Persephone. <laughs> We were practicing this. Um, I would try to snap, but I fear that um, Kali would, would find it offensive and, and would eliminate everybody in this room. You guessed appropriately. Okay. Yeah. Not exact. Kali, never the most social. Uh, I have... A lot of questions for the four of you, but um, I don't want to make you feel like I'm not here to help. What would you, what can I do to help you? I think we're still stuck on the whole, why did the Phantom Queen become the way she is now? Because Kim said she was good before and 
now she's not, and you were involved with all this. You gave Kim her divinity now. <sighs> As corroboree is a bit of a mouthful. When I would find the right kids, I performed a ritual of endearment. That is what gave them the divinity. When they were ready to move on or didn't want to do it anymore, I prefer the, well, ritual of loss. It severs the tie, doesn't erase memories or anything, but it makes it so you no longer have to worry about your divinity. You go through life as a normal human. It's uh, when Kim died during that battle, something in the Morrigan snapped. Something changed within her. Something was not the same? Wicked. She's through with playing by the rules of someone else's game? Love that show, love that book, and you are completely accurate. I don't know if it was loss of Kim or perhaps it was uh, the death of the doctor before her, but that was the Morgan's husband once upon a time. But after Kim passed, I attempted to do the the ritual of lost afterwards, just to you know let them both be free, and it something went wrong. So you did this. I don't. I don't. Yes. <gasps> did you close the door? I make sure the door remains closed. Okay. Mm. Phantom Queen's trying to open the door. Yeah. <sighs> Beyond that door is whatever births gods and whatever gods return to when they die. It's not meant to be reopened. If it were, reality itself might be unraveled. And that Originally, would be bad, right? It would be okay. very bad, Mr. Thatcher. Oh, please, Originally, Mr. Thatcher's my dad. Lennox, then. Originally, the worst thing would come out were crows. Shadows of sorrow, such shadows of repentance and despair and... Uh, all those nasty little words they like so much in uh, those uh, Japanese cartoons. So you said originally the worst thing to come out would be the crows. Because, I mean, the Phantom Queen's bringing the crows. So she's been using the students to create them. What would be that the worst now? A lot. The worst thing that could happen is she opens it. If that door is fully opened, we're not talking about some crows getting out. And we're not talking about her made crows. We're talking about something that would wipe humanity, gods, and everything in between off the face of the universe. Oh, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Now, I hate to ask this of you, especially after everything you know of Kim. What are your powers? I can talk to plants. <laughs> That's a good I base. Am, I uncover the truth and dispense justice. Very powerful. Well, I haven't figured out the dispensing justice part of it yet, but for now I'm very good at uncovering the truth. He looks to uh, Iris. Um, I create and destroy. Mm -hmm. It's like Everything. it's like really really gnarly when it happens. Yeah, it's like um, it makes you think about how beautiful life is and how it can all go away in a second. Power by existentialism. And you, Lennox, I can like turn into water. Mm -hmm. 
and these are okay and he kind of makes a motion for you guys to keep going like and i mean sometimes i'm gonna like like turn only part of me into water and use that as a to to hit people with water one time i turned into a water elemental although I the water was really golden like like an amber color I, it was, I think it was like beer. Like I, yeah, I, I was I worried that people. I didn't want to bring up the fact different. that that I can summon alcohol at any moment. With oh, the, I'm so sorry. Team. He he does all this when he's not being an RA, so it's not yeah, technically I, breaking the rules. I Off sign out. I sign out on the app every time. He does, and he also he does not consume any of his own. Like you know, you don't you don't consume your own product. I have never seen yeah. it happen. He only Nor do I distribute it. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I, I'm, I'm sorry. But not, to, not to other students or um just like around. Am I making it worse? I can manifest a giant sword. We've actually thrown a pretty cool party, and I think Eric helped. I mean, Lennox helped. <laughs> Eric, who's Eric? Um, I can I can manifest a giant floor. This is Manny desperately trying to disc. <laughs> I am but a vessel for Persephone. She does everything cool. That is. Hmm. How did you receive your divinities? A rabbit gave it to us. Yep. I'm going to pull out my backpack and be like, here it is. Ah. Morpheus. Hello, Morpheus. Uh, <laughs> no, it's, it's, he, he tries to do this, but he doesn't have thumbs, so it's more like this. It's, uh, uh, I really miss my thumbs. Uh, no, it's Orpheus. Orpheus wasn't a god. Whoa, hey. Be nice. I'm going to cover Orpheus's ears. <laughs> Be kind. He's already been made into a bunny. Chill. Hmm. Okay. So you received your divinity, I assume, through these keys? Hmm? There was There's... no ritual or anything. We just picked them up and suddenly we had divinity. Well, they, they asked us if like we wanted they it. Would accept their power, yes. This explains why you only seem to have one power each. You all have significantly weaker forms of divinity than the one I was able to give students in the past. We're just throwing out insults left and right here. Okay, yeah. I'm sorry, but it's... I can make comments about you too. I, right, I choose Mr. not to. Jay Monster divinity, cool. Persephone's just fine. Very strong. Yeah. Yes, Persephone is very strong, but not in this state. I worry that if you four were to attempt to actually go after the Phantom Queen in any way, she would... Yeah, it'd be crazy if we, like, all went up against her in, or, like, in a dream or whatever. Or um, in any other form. I think I'm picking up what you're putting down, Dean. Are we about to do the endearment ceremony? Are you going to, like, unlock us with these keys? I need to see that you are capable. What? We... You have to test us? We did a whole dream ritual. We put a whole dorm to sleep so we could use the power of their, their dream. I want to... an mm. Mm-hmm. How are you and Edward Scissorhands doing, by the way? Pretty good. He visits me in my dreams. It's pretty nice. <laughs> I will not have another incident like Kim. Uh, I understand you have done great work, and for that, I am eternally grateful. But I cannot let you continue this way if you are not prepared. Listen, I don't... I don't mean to like, you know, be disrespectful or anything, but like, dude, like you don't really have a choice. Like we're doing this and you can like help us or I guess get out of our way. Uh, yeah. Those are like your two well, options. 
Go find other divinities to... Oh, wait, you can't. He gives that smile that comes from... Oh, this is going to be a very interesting day. And he loosens his tie a little, and I need everyone to roll initiative. Don't take it off! Hey. <laughs> Wait. Dex, Never mind. Dex I take everything speed, back. Right? Dex and speed? Dex and speed. Do not spend an AP point. This does not qualify. And remember, folks, this is going to be an interesting fight, so if you want to make sure no one dies. Ay, Dios mio. I got a 10. Oh, that's that, not bad. 11. Okay. Four. My dad's going to be so pissed. 10, 11, 4, and 5? Yeah, it wasn't great. No, it was not. Yeesh. Man, I wonder if we'll get that unlock for the full heal. Sounds you like might need it. Right you might need it. So we got, um, we got Manny coming in at 11. Uh, Iris coming in at 10. Lennox coming in at 5. Uh, I'm sorry. Iris coming. Nope. Uh, 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 Dahlia coming in at 10. Iris coming in at five, too many flowers. We got uh, Lennox coming in at four, and at 14, the Dean, Dr. Ash. So one of the unlocks for this should be boys over flowers. We all have flower names. Just Aww. Saying. Also, I love that show. I do, too. Oh, honey, oh, do know, we should absolutely do. Uh, hey, look, I've been trying to get a uh, Oron High School Host Club show going for, like, Decades now. <laughs> I have no idea what the plot would be. All right. So we are starting initiative and he Lennox, you blink. And he is right behind you. Huh. Go ahead and roll to hit. Oh, that is going to hit. It's not a crit though. Uh right behind you, he appears and he is. Oh, okay. You take 10 damage. What's your defense? Uh, my defense is a d6. All right, roll that d6. Uh, a two. <laughs> All right. Uh, so let's see. You take eight uh, damage as he appears behind you and just kicks you square between the shoulder blades. Ah. Uh. He kicked a child? <laughs> yeah, he what did the receptionist door. think standing outside the door? <laughs> uh, the receptionist doesn't seem to notice. Dang it. And we just cut to like a, uh, like the receptionist like with their headphones on, like bopping, and then like in the window you see papers flying. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yes, he kicks you in the back for, uh, let's see, set. Oh, wait, I'm sorry, I did the math wrong. It was seven minus two, so you take five. Okay. Yeah. Um, ability one. I can freeze time for approximately three seconds. All right, Manny, it's your turn. Um, so Manny immediately calls forth Ma'at. Um, and uh, using uh, Ma'at's wings, I would like to build uh, basically a shield wall for my fellow companions. Uh, mm. some sort of like a uh, wall that essentially is like we can attack from our side, but you have to, you have to work a little bit harder to get on our side. Okay. So basically so a, to... a force field of some kind. All right. All right. So you're trying to give him the condition force field. Yeah. All right. That sounds fair. Um, Go ahead and give me, let's see. This is definitely going to cost you an AP point. Showa, I would agree. Give imagine. me defense and strength. Come on. Defense and strength. Okay. Hot damn. I rolled an eight and a six, so that's 14. 14. Okay. So... We will go ahead and half that. And he will have to roll a seven or better on his attacks to actually hit you. Which, pretty fucking great. All right, Dahlia, it's your turn. Uh, I'm going to use Persephone's, I'm going to channel my divinity 
and around the Dean, I'd like to have a bunch of like poison ivy and razor wire and just like thorned plants and plants that give you hives. Uh, just start trying to like attach attach to the Dean and like wrap him up. Just be real annoying and painful. Okay. Uh, you are also going to be giving him a condition as opposed to kind of this group condition uh, Manny put down. So go ahead and let's make that an AP point. And we'll make that range. Actually, no, we'll make that dexterity defense. Okay. I got a 10. Okay. Half that. And so he will have to roll above a five and above a above a five to act and above a seven to actually hit someone. Cool. Yes. Otherwise he will be taking conditions and that will lower his dice by one step. All right, Iris, you're up next. Okay. Um, I would like to uh, ask Kali to go into his mind's eye and like create a future, like like push time forward in his mind so that he mm -hmm. lives like an entire life in his mind, like what like could possibly be the future. And then right as he has like um <laughs> right as like a, a, his child is born, <laughs> I wanna just uh, end it and have him come screeching back to here. Okay, this one's actually going to be contested because uh, you're, this is definitely an attack. Yeah, this it's is an attack. attack. All right, so let's see. Go ahead and make the roll. Okay, so for me, that's going to be um, intelligence plus range minus two. Yes. To hit. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, so D12 uh, and D12. All and right. then minus two. Okay. You need above a 14. Oh, mother. Okay. Uh, it's not. Uh, okay. So that's an eight <laughs> at this time. Yes. Um, you. Look, seen, I had dreams. You had dreams. You had big dreams. I respect big it. Dreams. Like, if you're going to go there, go there. I know. Uh, Kali's arm shoots out of the darkness into his mind, and you see him shrug it off. Kali, we've done that before. Ew! Let it go next. <laughs> okay. I am going to create an orb of, of, of liquid beer, and it's going to encase his head, so he has to take a drink, probably. I don't know. We'll see how that turns out. Roll to attack. Okay, let's see. We will go a D12 and then a D8. We'll see how that works. Uh, not well. I had to get a 14? Yes. You sure a 6 isn't enough? No. You sure that a 6 <laughs> isn't close enough? No. On a D12 and a D8, a 6 total? <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, I'm no. sorry. Minus 2. 4? Four? 4. <laughs> sure, it's wow. it's almost there. I it's get a four. It's, it's only 10 short. Yeah, it's basically there. It's almost there, but if not. I ordered, if I bought 14 of something and they only gave me four, I would think that was good enough, right? You're talking to the guy who gets pissy about, hey, I, I ordered six chicken fingers. It's only at five. I'm a fat guy. I like my food. Leave me alone. All right. So uh, don't forget, folks, the only way they can reroll is if we hit the $60 tier. So I like... I like to believe what happens is uh, Lennox like steps up. He forms like this, this orb. He's like, huh, first drinks on me. Huh! And it's just foam. That is like, it's like, oh, it's, 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 oh. something caught in the line. Tapped. Kegs tapped, dude. Yes, it is. <laughs> Next up, uh, we go back to the top with the Dean. Um, he crosses his arms, and when he uncrosses them, there are now two of him. Second power, children of God. Self-explanatory. They say in unison. 
and he is going to take a whack at Iris. Ding danger. Okay. Oh, what am I? What am I rolling? Defense. I uh, actually, you don't have to. He rolled a hit, and he got a four. And you <laughs> hit a five because your initiative is five. Iris is gonna like freak out, kind of, and be like, "You look like an idiot." <laughs> They both attempt to swing at you, and you just scream, you look like an idiot! And well, duck. I mean, he wouldn't have passed anyway because he needed over a five just to be able to act. So. Oh, you're right. You're right. Yeah. Um, exactly. I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> okay, Manny, you're up next. Uh, you know what I have found? Having both a name like Emancipation and a... Uh, uh, a divinity like Ma'at, only the truth will set you free. And then I want to manifest my sword and I'd like to cut cut uh, the Dean back down to size. Okay, go ahead and give, let's see. I, we made it so you don't have to like summon the sword. You just have the sword whenever you want it now. I think I think I, 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 think I still have to spend the AP point for it. But that's oh, absolutely. You have to spend the AP point, but you don't have to spend a roll to make it. Go ahead and give me a roll to hit, which for you, I believe, is uh, defense and intelligence. Intelligence and defense. As a guardian, it is... Oh, I'm sorry. It's strength and defense. Thank God, because there's no way I could ever get over a 14 on the other one. It's strength defense plus two. Plus two. Come on. 14. Oh, that's a hit. Okay, roll the damage. Which is strength and defense minus, minus two, two or cool. Uh, that is a 10. That's 10 damage. All right, he has a, def I rolled a six on his defense. So he takes four. Uh, you hit him with the sword and even though it, physically burns him, he looks impressed and almost joyous. Dahlia, you're up next. Dahlia's gonna like close her eyes and center herself. As the great Sean O'Casey says, all the world is a stage and most of us are desperately unrehearsed. Persephone, Help me learn yeah. how to do more than just plant speech. And I'm going to like throw my arms out and ask Persephone to like channel something through me that we've never used before. Well, the problem is your ability, uh, your first ability was plant control. Mm. So she's going to have a hard time doing that. I will allow you to try though. It will be strength and power. I'm sorry. Uh, Nope, nope, that's right. Strength and power. I got top on both, so I got 10. Um, I got a four and a six. Oh, that's a crit. Four and a six. Yeah, both crits. Yeah. Okay, yeah. If you hit max on both dice, that's a critical success. So um, a little known fact about Persephone, she's also a goddess of the underworld. Ooh. Uh, huh. So you... You're throwing, you summon these Hamlet-like skulls. They're, they're a Yorick, my friend, that are inflamed, and they go flying through the office. Uh, go ahead. Let's. I'll have you roll to hit. Do not spend another AP point, though, because you rolled that crit. I want to see how this plays out. Uh, and rolling to hit is, wait, it's right there. You are a magician, so yes. Yeah. It's a five and a 12. I got a crit on the 12. So that's a 17 minus two. So it's actually a 15. A 15 hits as we are looking for 14 to hit the Dean. <sighs> All right, so cool. go ahead and roll your damage. It's a four to one plus two. So seven. Seven, seven damage. damage. All right, I'll roll his defense real fast. Uh, ah, he blocks four of that, but he still takes it. Uh, 
your skulls just crash into him. Uh, when they do, they shatter into uh, quotes from Hamlet, but they, you know, they seem okay. They seem, they're dead, all right? It's not like it can get much worse. All right, Iris, it's up to you now. Okay. Um, okay. Iris might try something not using her divinity. That's totally Because fair. she feels like she embarrassed Kali. So she's going to try and be a little bit ruthless. Um, what is on, like, the desk, his desk? Oh, on his desk, you see uh, photos from him meeting dignitaries and uh, world leaders. You see the original blueprint for the uh, artificial heart he made. That's where he made his uh, fortune. Uh, you see uh, his name, plate. I forget what those things are called for a second, but it's a plate with your name on it, a name plate. Uh, and fancy pens and uh, pencils that look like they've kind of been chewed on. Okay, um, I'm going to take uh, two fancy pens um, and I'm going to try and like jump from one of the chairs mm -hmm. and just kind of go stab downward. Um, now, I think Iris at this point is like she's trying to like impress Kali because she thinks that the failure before was kind of her fault. Um, mm -hmm. So she's like trying to show that she can be ruthless too. But she's not very good at it. So she doesn't have a plan for where these pens will land. She's just like jumping and, and stabbing. Okay. And right. she figures it's not going to kill the guy because there's two of them. So, you know. All right. Uh, this just sounds like strength. Oh, boy. Okay, so just strength. Just strength. Don't roll one. It will be hilarious. <laughs> or please roll one. It will be hilarious. Three? So you jump on one of the deans, and you are letting out that Xena scream, I assume. Yeah. You attempt to stab him, uh, and you realize, oh, these are nice looking, but they're not the strongest pens, so you're just kind of like ruining his... Uh, dress shirt, one of their dress shirts. Okay, so a win's a win. Go ahead and give me a charisma roll real fast. Oh, gosh, really? I mean, I, we'll see. Two. We'll see. Okay. Two! Perfect. Um, any embarrassment Kali felt earlier seems to evaporate in your moment of pure unbridled rage. Okay, great. Yes. <laughs> Uh, now, uh, Lennox, it's your turn. Okay. So firing beer out of my hands didn't seem to do the trick. Uh, but I'm a football player. Yes, you I know, are. I, I am going to, um, I'm going to use my, I'm going to basically use the, the liquid to like propel myself forward so I can just tackle him. <laughs> All right, that is going to be speed and strength. Okay, I'm okay with that. Let's see, it was speed. Okay, well, speed didn't. I'm not the fastest in the world, but that's fine. That's fine. We're we're doing the best we can. It's kind of hard for Ninkasa to be good at speed, as she is a jar. Yep. They don't. They're not known for being fast moving <laughs> objects. Okay. Yeah. So seven. That is not going to do much, my friend. Yeah. Uh, let what happens? Tell paint me a word picture. Why doesn't this work out? Uh, he he basically um, he goes like running, like zigzagging, like y using like the water to actually like push his way back and forth. Uh, and then like he goes for um, and he finds his opening and goes for one of them, but then the other one like just checks him out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. All right, so next up are the deans. There are two of them now that you have to deal with. This is great. This is great. Uh, are, are they even able to act, though? We need to find that out first. They have to. They will have to roll, and if they manage to beat the numbers, both of your numbers, 
they connect. If they get, if they hit your numbers, or are, if they hit your numbers, they don't get to act. And if they're too below either of your numbers, they take a hit to their dice. Ooh, okay. I'm I'm very very proud of us right now, Mika. I am too. We're crowd uh, controlling the heck out of yes. this guy. The first one rolled a thirteen, which is well above uh, both the. Uh, I thought light... our numbers were like twenty-five. <laughs> Excuse yeah, I'm me. Fairly certain we rolled like. If you combine them, it's actually fifty-seven. Yeah, roll yeah, back the tape. Over you said... nine thousand. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, you know what? I I am I am easy to push around, but not that easy. If, if DJ regular can post the clip that he he definitely took of DJ, you saying DJ, that, don't, don't Rest, you dare bring it back. <laughs> All right, so he got a thirteen, and he is going to attack you, Manny. Um, what? Well, the first dean is going to attack you as this, he gets to act twice now. Third ability, the feast of twelve. He says as. He holds up his hand, and Manny, there is a bull running at you. Uh, he rolled a 10, which is not going to hit. You dodge out of the way deftly as the bull comes running at you, and you realize it is a bull made of jade, and it just crumbles to dust as it runs past you. Well, that didn't work out well. But it's now the other one's turn, and they're going to go after uh, Lennox because you keep uh, not doing great. Mm -hmm. He's just He's... trying to party, have a good time. Yeah. He's providing party favors. Lennox wants to party. Party all the time. Party, party, party all the time. time. He rolled a 13, so it's gonna hit. It's gonna <laughs> I know. hit. Do, 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 do. All right, Lennox, go ahead and roll your defense as the other, as the second dean does a full body check on you for 10. Four. All right, you take six. How you looking there, Lenny? Doing fine. Doing five? Doing fine. Doing great. Doing nine, more like. Nice. <laughs> All right, uh, next, it's your turn, Manny. You're up. Cool. The best thing about wielding truth is that truth is both your sword and your shield. But it seems to me that a little bit more truth could be revealed. Uh, and so what I would like to do is I would like to channel Ma'at's, my, my divinity, use Ma'at's power to uncover the truth, to reveal all of the rest of the Dean's abilities in order to give us a higher level of defense against them. Okay. If we know it's coming, then we can be better prepared for it. <laughs> now, I'm going to go ahead and be a very nice GM, okay? I'm going to be so nice. I expect a fruit basket in my dressing room. Um, he has shown you all three of his abilities. Oh, okay. So you do not need to waste the roll for that one. Is there so, anything else you want to do? Uh, oh, this is kind of terrible. But I kind of want to uncover the moment in the moment the moment Kim died. Oh. For him. That is exceptionally cruel. Um, but And I'm not doing it necessarily be, to be cruel. I want to do it in order to make him realize that there are many different ways to prove that we are prepared for this. Fighting us is not necessarily the only one. All right, spend the AP. This is going to be a power and intelligence role for Manny. Ooh, those are definitely my strengths, at least one of them. So is, but yeah, this is this is more to be like the truth. The truth can make you feel vulnerable and weak. It doesn't mean that you're less powerful. You said power and intelligence? Yep. Cool. Like I said, those are great stats for me. Manny, that brainiac. 
It's both my highest and my lowest die. So we'll see how this goes. Not great, Tim. Not uh, great, Tim? Six. Okay. So, Manny, you try to make him look back at this moment he carries with him, this moment of just regret and shame. And it doesn't go the way it should. Like, you've, you haven't done this before, but you've done, you, you, you know, use truth like this. And it hits you like an emotional freight truck right in the gut as you are leaning over the dead body of a teenage girl. You're surrounded by three other students. Uh, they look, they don't look familiar at all. One of them's kind of greasy and a little bit like, uh, you know, basically if Iris didn't take care of herself and was a boy, you kind of get that vibe from this kid. Oh, hi, um, Skaven's kid. <laughs> you have this one girl with really loud hair, uh, Kind of reminds you of those scene memes of your aunt posts sometimes on Facebook. Um, and there's uh, one kid built like a ship brick house uh, with a shaved head. And he is taking this really hard. And you cannot shake the fact this is all your fault. And then you snap back and you are back in the battle. So that was fun. That was great. That was great. Dahlia. That was invisible, right? Like, oh, I yeah, see no. Much. What you all saw was Manny shot out one of Ma'at's feathers to reveal the truth, and it just hits the Dean. He brushes it off, and you see Manny just kind of go... <laughs> and not a great moment. Like the deadlight scene from it too. It is absolutely the deadlight scene from it too. <laughs> yeah. Um. Oof. Okay. Why does this always happen to Manny? I have no idea. They are <laughs> mentally Manny. vulnerable uh, because they're not very smart. Come on, baby. Oh, there's a kitty. There is. May I see the kitty? Here's kitty. Hello, I kitty. I would die for you. I love you. You're perfect. You're angelic. This is wow. Zoe. Hi, Zoe. Hi, Zoe. I love you. I would die for you. I would definitely take a bullet for you. Oh. Shut up. I don't love cats too much. Except oh, he's, he's definitely got. Um. <laughs> thank you, boy. I'm going to say another theater quote. Or Dahlia is going to say another theater quote as she summons her divinity through Persephone again, really emboldened by these skulls that she was throwing. Um, in the theater, the audience wants to be surprised by the things that they expect. And I'm, I want to try to summon another skull, but I'd also love to wrap it in uh, plants and uh, floral and make it look like Kim. Like, take on her form. Oh, okay. Um, so this is going to be a condition roll and not an attack roll, as you are just trying to do a psychological combat against this man. Yes. Yep. Because you are teenagers, and teenagers scare the shit out of me. So let's go ahead and make this a power and charisma roll. Okay. It's a four and a six of ten. All right, Siri. ten. So, Be quiet. Sorry, Siri wanted to interject. <laughs> Siri has opinions, goddammit. Um, all right, so we are going to go ahead, half that. Basically, if he does not roll above a ten on any roll now, he's going to be psychologically scarred, emotionally scarred, and cut to all hell. Cool. I want to have the little floral Kim, like, trying to stay in his vision so he can't escape it. Yeah, that is that's definitely happened. That's that's happening, and I hate it. Thank you. 
Thank you. I was not expecting that from Dahlia. Was not expecting that. Got to be surprised by the things you least expect. All right. Iris, you're up now. Okay. So Iris is going to turn to Kali and be like, I think we can do this. So she wants to, um, so the, she wants to um, go have Kali manipulate his uh, perception of time mm -hmm. and bring him back to, um, and, and kind of have the plant, um, plant Kim assist in this and, and have him go back to the moment that he decided to divinify Kim and just have that play over and over in his head. You kids are scary and mean, but yes, go ahead and give me a charisma and power roll. Okay. Uh, and go ahead and add two because you have a uh, horrible doll version of his greatest regret. Wait, so I'm doing- how we are with me. Just wait till we get to the Phantom Queen. Psychological. <laughs> Wait, so I'm sorry, I'm doing what? I'm not doing uh, intelligence and range? Uh, this doesn't seem like much of an attack. Okay, so it I'm sorry, like you said charisma and power? Yes, okay. plus two because you have a horrible uh, doll. Great. It's a Kim Golem. I don't like that. Uh, not great. Uh, five. Okay. Um, that Kali attempts to reach into his mind and make him relive this horrible moment. And he seems like, okay, Iris, I'm going to give you a freebie. Go ahead and give me an attempt. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. Wait, no, I, I actually rolled plus two. Then I got a uh, seven. Not that, I don't know if that matters. It doesn't really, right. this is, uh, but I will, would actually, I'm going to go ahead. You are all welcome to make an intelligence roll real fast with a difficulty of three. No. I got a one. <laughs> nope, nope, nope. Okay. Uh -huh. Iris, um, the rest of your team seems to be under the impression that the Dean is the Dean because the Dean's the Dean. You, on the other hand, are aware that the Dean is, Dr. Ash is one of the greatest scientific minds the world has ever seen. Um, the whole reason he built the school, at least publicly, as far as anyone knows, was because he loves learning and he values intelligence and the arts above all else. This is not a man who is very weak-willed. And you know this. Okay. So, Interesting. okay. Yeah. Just throwing that one out there and moving on to Lenny. All right. Lenny's going to brush himself off, realize that the direct attacks aren't working. Uh, so uh, I would like to um, have have Lennox turn into, into a liquid, uh, but then extend himself so there are a bunch of different Lennoxes. All like weird, weird beer Lennoxes all over the place. <laughs> okay, uh, you want to make a bunch of Beerixes. I respect mm -hmm. that. Uh, I by the way, favorite that. character in Kingdom Hearts too. Would that mean that all the Lennoxes that are beer would they all be drunk? Because their blood alcohol would just be alcohol. I mean, at a certain point, I think you either turn into alcohol or just die. <laughs> dark. Uh, this is the dark episode, folks. I wasn't planning that. But, all right. Um, I will ask Eric, what are you trying to accomplish with the multiple Lennies? Uh, it, that, um, A, there's, there's like, not all of them are like him, him. Like some are like most, like there's the one that's like the central one and the rest are just like kind of watery projections. Uh, so it's harder to pin down which one's him, but also like, it can they can stand in between all his friends. Okay, 
So I'm going to go ahead and have you roll defense and strength. Okay. This is going to be a, a condition roll. And we are going to add your successes. We're going to combine them with Manny's uh, shields from earlier in the combat. So basically, he'll have to get through two things. Okay. So the D6 rolled a four, which is pretty nice. The the D12 rolled a one. Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and tell you guys, if he ever rolls a crit fail, if he ever gets a two or even a three, this man is going to die. I'm not going to kill him because it's not that type of anime, but like this man is not going to do well as you guys have basically turned five and six into the horror zone. Okay. Like, High numbers are fine, low numbers suck, but this zone, this zone, this is where things go horribly wrong. I, I only rolled a five. That did well? Uh, it's a condition. Okay. It's something he has to deal with every turn on top of the other conditions you've all given him, except for Iris, who keeps on trying to do horrible things to his mind and not work. And now it's uh, his turns. All right. The Dean is not paying attention to uh, Manny, but he is paying attention to you. Uh, I said Manny. I meant Lenny. He's paying attention to Manny, and he's going to try to strike you down with a good punch. Let's see what he gets. Guess what I got? One. Uh, into a card in hands. Guess what I got? Guess what I got? I got a seven. That doesn't hit me. It does not hit you. And it doesn't beat doesn't beat any of the conditions we gave him. It does not. So what happens is we now have to give him we now have to give him the condition problems. So let's go ahead and do that real fast. We're gonna go ahead and give him trauma, which reduces his dex, strength, intelligence, and charisma by one die size. Cool. And we're also going to give him a wound. So we have incre we have decreased his dex from a D10 down to a D6. And all his D10s are now D8s. Hey, he initiated this fight. We weren't trying to fight. He's the one that came, wanted this heat. He, he attacked hands, a child. So. Yeah. Yeah, he kicked a child he in the back. So I'm, I don't feel sorry. And a for rich him. white one. <laughs> all right, I feel a little less bad now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let me go ahead and update his sheet accordingly. Um, I would show this on Twitter, but I still don't have one. So, uh, Manny, he attempts to hit you, and uh, he instead hits your shield, and it seems to physically hurt him. And then the vines just wrap around him. Uh, and the. Looks like he's horrified, but also excited. Next up, the second Dean is going to attack uh, with his significantly smaller dice pool now. Uh, he's going to try to attack you as well, Manny. Uh, that is a 14. That is going to work. Sure. All right. Uh, that is a 5. What is your defense? Uh, I rolled a 3 on my D8. So you only take two damage as the second Dean comes by and uh, hits you with this, like, flaming jade orb. But it just kind of skims. Next up is your turn, Manny. Yep, we're going to sword swipe this, this sucker. This is my uh, defense and my... My defense and my strength plus two. Plus two. <laughs> 16. That'll hit. Go ahead and roll that beautiful bean footage. Uh, uh, four. All right. His defense has been lowered significantly, so you only managed to get one, one bit of damage through, but he is looking pretty worse for wear. Dolly, it's your turn. And guess I'm solid. Thank you for the bits. Oh. 
my creativity my creativity is just not working today <laughs> persephone remember that sword that i had the rose one i want to be sword buds with manny and you now have your rose sword i'd like to attack with my rose sword great so I'd like, to, like flick with manny and try to attack the same dean nice all right, uh, as you are a magician, that means your attack is, if I'm not mistaken, uh... Int and range. Thank you. Intelligence and range. That is an eight and a seven minus two. So that's 13. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and say you hit because you are flanking. Cool. One of those was also a crit. Hmm. I don't know if that works. Okay. Crits only happen if both dice show the maximum value, or they both land on six. Okay, and then damage was a seven and a six plus two, so that's a 15 damage. Oh, my God. Um, <laughs> so, you stab him through the chest, uh -huh. and he falls to his knee. And? I yield. Oh my god, finally! What about the other Dean? Does he yield? The, the other Dean vanishes. And leaves behind just uh, this green stone powder. As soon as he vanishes, Lenny turns around and goes, I don't think so! Huh. Okay. <laughs> I'm not going to fall for it again. Salt's kid, hey, thank you for the bits. Uh, the Did Dean's... that give you the answers that you were looking for? He stands up and his chest is bleeding a lot. In fact, he's bleeding a lot in general. And he laughs. It's not maniacal. It's not malevolent. It's impressed. <laughs> Well, you're more than capable. I apologize for ever questioning you. We're capable because we have each other. Yeah, I want to clink my sword with Manny's sword. Some of us more so than others. No, you did fine. Thanks. You had a very, very clever idea there, Iris. Sorry for all of the mental and emotional attacks on you. Oh, when you're an adult, you get used to it. Oh, no. Yeah. He lumbers over to a workstation and undoes the top couple buttons of his shirt, begins sewing up the hole you left, uh, Dahlia. Chopping Sonny, thank you for the tip. Well, tightens it up. Have to probably go to the hospital for that later. In you can go now if you need to. <laughs> I don't suppose Persephone could maybe help him out a little bit with that. Okay. I'm just a little mad that he attacked us. I am too, but, but honestly, we need him more. Well, he needs us more than we need him, but we still need him. Persephone, do you have any plants that can make good healing salves? Um, I might. Go ahead and give me, uh, if you'd like to, spend the AP and give me intelligence and power. That's a two and a six, so eight. All right, eight. Um, you are capable of healing about eight hit points. Um, and I assume you've all dropped the, like, brambles and shields and everything. So, yeah. yeah. You can use that to heal him for eight if you'd like. Okay. Yeah. I'll do it. That's pretty good, considering he was literally at one hit point. You might want to reconsider using violence to test your students. Just saying. I don't usually do that, but after what happened, 
And he gives you a look, Manny. He has he knows you know now. After what happened, it's hard for me to be so trusting. I'm not saying I was right, but I hope you understand. Now then. Our, our hope, our hope is actually not to use violence to defeat the Phantom Queen. Mostly because we have reason to believe that it is possible that she is still the 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 uh, Morrigan. The Morrigan. The Morrigan is still in there somewhere, and Kim has asked us not to hurt her. I actually have a theory about that. <gasps> Me too. Well, there has to be a reason that Kim's spirit hasn't moved on, and if that happened at the same time that the Morrigan like kind of broke because of this loss ceremony what if the morgan is, is only malevolent and only here because kim hasn't moved on and they're still grieving about it yeah i was thinking that or like what if um the phantom queen nay morgan um was is trying to get kim back because if any of you guys um died i would um Tear the earth apart to get you back. Aww. That's like, right back. yeah, that's like really nice. Thank Maybe you. Right. I would tear the throat out of anybody that would harm you. Um, usually I'm pretty cool with people doing whatever makes them feel happy, but I don't think that's a good idea. Right. That was, that was too much. I'll just, I'll just think it in my head. But that that's does have, it gives us context for, Maybe the Phantom Queen is still mourning and just kind of broken over Kim. Maybe that's why she wants to open the door. If that place is where gods go when they die, perhaps she thinks that's where Kim is. It wouldn't surprise me. I think that's actually a very sound theory. We need to figure out some way to get the Phantom Queen to the cemetery. Hmm. Well, she was a goddess of death, though generally she was more people who died in combat. The irony is not lost on any of you, I hope. So we just have to fight and kill or be killed in the cemetery and the phantom no, will show up? No, 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 Dahlia. Did I get my math wrong? The goddess... I, I was referencing the fact that she was a goddess of death who would take people who died in battle and her divinity, and as when she was divinity, the human she was tied to died. I was uh, died in that way, and she couldn't even get her, even though she died in battle. I, can you imagine the terrible irony that is fate? Yeah. <sighs> yeah, I can definitely imagine it. No wonder she flew off the handle and has been trying to figure out a way to channel all of the gods' powers into opening up a hell, hell mouth, essentially. Oh, Buffy fan. Hmm. Yes, well, be that as it may, violence might not be the answer we're looking for, and I respect that. I actually... I was, it was very wrong of me to assume you weren't capable. You seem, you all seem to be very good kids. And as far as unlocking our other powers, I don't think there's anything necessarily wrong with that happening with time. As we, as we become stronger and as we earn the trust of our gods, Perhaps the mistake has always been that people who received too much power too soon and therefore threw themselves into situations they were not prepared for. Not every kid had that problem, but Kim, Kim was definitely the sort. You gave her an inch, she'd take a mile. You told her she couldn't. That was, well, that's everything to her. She could do anything if she told her she couldn't. And I do agree. Perhaps the old ritual of 
Besides, Pleasant, exactly. Mm. I think there's something to be said for divinity choosing who they want to be connected to and setting their own boundaries for how they share their power. I would yeah, still kind of like, take me for what I am, who I was meant to be. Kind of like that, you know? Young lady, I, I'm old enough to have seen Rent on Broadway originally. Wow, that's really cool. <laughs> I hope to see it on Broadway one day. Uh, I'm just a dinosaur. He goes to his bookcase, one of these large, beautiful mahogany bookcases. As he's doing that, like Lenny goes to, to Iris and goes, is he actually a dinosaur or was that like a, a figure of speech? Honestly, at this point, anything is possible. Okay. I've written down 12 variations of what the truth could be. I'll share that with you later. Okay, thank you. I don't think it'll confuse you. I think it'll just clear it up. Appreciate it. He turns back around and he's holding a candle. It is fire. I assure you, Miss Snow, we have very, very good fire retardant materials around here. It is a science lab. It's very safe. Okay, well, some people got mad that some other people burned down an auditorium. So I'm just saying. Hey. I was not mad. I was impressed. Uh, I'm mad because the theater, you know. We'll have that rebuilt very soon, Dahlia. I promise you. He lights the candle and suddenly the room goes darker. There is nothing around you except your friends, your divinity, and this light. And you are all now level three. Yeah. Okay. As the world comes back into view, he gives a small smile. Turns out the ritual of endearment's a lot easier with uh, people who already have a divinity. Whoa. All you have to do is light a little candle? Wait, oh. do it again. Will it make us stronger? No, it's a one-time deal. The rest of the time, to go any further, he motions to Manny. You'll have to follow this one's advice. All right, as you are level three, you get to upgrade one of your anima's stats. So if it is a D4, it could be a D6. If it's a D10, it could be a D12. D12 is as high as anything can go. And as you are third level, you get to do that to your character as well. I didn't warn them this was happening. Coo, 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 coo. Okay. Coo, coo. Yeah, because I haven't spent any time thinking about what my, my next two powers are going to be. Like, no. No, no, no idea. I really don't have any idea. Like, that's not sarcasm. Like, I have oh. no so, oh, okay. I thought you were gonna. I thought you were like, oh man, no. I've been thinking about this since day one. Whoop, no, I have no idea what I'm doing next with this character. Wait, so, um, for so, so you're saying if it's a D4, it could be a D6, D6, it could be a D8. That's yes. But okay, okay, thanks. Mm -hmm. Guess he's gonna get a little bit smarter. Manny. Yay! Yay! Because I have the truth portion of this covered. Now I need to figure out the justice and the harmony portion of this. <laughs> I don't know what I can do yet. I'm upgrading uh, Iris's charisma. She's getting just that much more, less terrible to be around. Now she has friends. Really yeah, old. that's what I'm saying. Get out of your D4. We're moving on to a D6. <laughs> Hell yeah. That's really capable. <laughs> I'm upping uh, Dahlia's intelligence because that's what she uses to hit. And I feel like her and Persephone have really been connecting lately. Mm -hmm. And her and Persephone's power because I feel like Persephone is able to use her divinity a bit more through Dahlia. Hell yeah. Cool. 
Uh, I was, yeah. man, I actually, I've changed my mind. I was going oh. to upgrade my defense to a D10. Uh, I, I definitely upgraded my intelligence, but I realized that like uh, maybe uh, upping my range uh, will allow Ma'at's abilities to uh, reach a little bit further. Because right Not now, bad idea. kind of immediately, like anything that's immediately nearby, but like, what if I had a wider range? What if I go a little bit further? I can go the distance. <laughs> well, and then, Stephen, I don't know if you need uh, this other... Do, do you need me to tell you what I'm upgrading for both? I would. I think the audience would like to hear it. Okay. Sure. So I, I did the charisma, and then for the uh, divinity, um, she used to have a D4 for speed, um, but I'm upgrading that to a D6. Just I'll because I think there's less... Like, I think that there's just, like, quicker communication between iris and kali now and so it's just like being able to to execute things quicker nice and also that was her lowest stat so <laughs> all right uh and what did you up eric did you share what you upgraded uh not yet uh lenny's dexterity is going up from a d6 to a d8 he's getting Ooh. he's getting back into cardio he's been he's been lifting too much so he needs to he needs to loosen up uh and uh the and ninkasi's speed is going from a d4 to a d6 nice nice she is a fast jug <laughs> I do like that that line that you said, Stephen, when you were like, uh, she's not, what is it? Not known to be fast as she is a jug. <laughs> she is <laughs> a, a jar. jar. A jar. She is a jar. <laughs> I mean, I'm not known for speed. She's a, a giant clay jar. So, yeah. <laughs> fair, fair. A giant clay jar with a human face that can talk, you know? Not a human face. It just has gemstones embedded that looks like eyes. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's us like anthropomorphizing the jug. To be honest, the jar. I'm so sorry. I mean, it's I, at what point is it a jar, and what point is it a jug? Who knows? I think a jug. I think if you can uh, blow into it and wear some overalls with a button missing and one of them on the other side, and you know the deep south, then it's a jug. Well, if you've ever seen like if you look at the pictures like of the Sumerian, like the things are like they're, like four feet tall and they have these like reed straws in it. That's that's what Ninkasa is based on, at least my drawing of of her. Well, the dean gives you all a smile. Now, uh, Iris, you are the president of a school safety society, correct? Thank you so much. Yes. Well, I guess we can consider you all fa founding members of the new School Safety Society. Oh, man. Okay. Wow. Two new members. This is huge and historic day for the School Safety Society. I, I don't know what to do. Okay. Well, I'm going to have to assign roles to everybody. Um, I'm going to have to think think it out. But, you know, who's in charge of bandages? Who's in charge of water bottles? I mean, al already, Dahlia, kicking it off. Oh, oh, I, no, I have a question. I wasn't. Oh, you're already assigned. Okay. And then since you're so eager, I'm going to give you also, you're in charge of the, um, of the fire routes. Fantastic. Uh, Thank you. Okay, let me write these down. Um, I also have a question. <laughs> Dean, uh, when it comes to graduation with all of our clubs, do I have to list this one if I have too many clubs next to my name in the yearbook? Also, what color are the cords when we walk for graduation? Does Safety Squad have a different color cord? Because I know pink is for theater and I don't want it to clash. I just... Well, no. The so, uh, color for the school safety squad was traditionally purple. Okay, that works. Cool. Got it. May I request that we abstain from cords? They're very dangerous. If you were to trip and fall, you could decapitate yourself. But it's a tradition and they make you look really accomplished. <laughs> the Dean laughs at this. All right. 
We'll talk about that more later, Iris. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to bandage up what's left of me. And also I just want to say, like, point of order, uh, we're making a lot of club business when uh, we're missing like half the members because we do have people that are are parts of. The, so we can't officially make any decisions. Uh, I mean, I guess we can come to a quorum, but it feels I I just I would like my uh, objection uh, noted if we're going to come to a quorum about things because not everyone was here to vote. Rejection noted, Lennox. Now, if the four of you will excuse me, I have to go take care of this. I hope you four have a lovely night, and you are all more than welcome to come to my office whenever you'd like. The door is open to you four. No appointment needed? No appointment. Wow like we're on the dean's list <laughs> but not right if you're I'm currently not having the dean's list before i'm aware manny i've seen your I, I saw your report card last quarter if you're currently having a meeting and we walk in will you kick the other person out sometimes can you tell them it's because we're more important and that you're I prioritizing would. us because you like us more. <laughs> and every once in a while, can you like like tussle our hair and say I'm proud of you? Uh, no, that's stupid. Don't uh, don't do that. Yeah. Maybe even a hug. Oh, uh, I've never. The dean does I walk don't over. Think that's I don't think that's. Never mind. The dean does walk over to Manny and Lenny and pats both of you on the head. I'm very proud of all four of you. Cool. Winnie, are you crying? No, I think this is beer. Uh, I got beer. It's what? Uh, I got some some leftover beer on my face. Just coming from your eyes only. Uh, that yeah. Burn. It must be on. It was on the ceiling. It dripped on my face or something. Oh, it's um, so specific where it dripped. Yeah, I looked up. I heard the drip. I heard dripping, oh, and I looked oh. up, and it hit me in the eyes. And now my eyes are watering because it's beer. Oh yeah, why is your voice so shaky? Because uh, it's just, um, you know, I, it, I, it, it's. Manny gives Lenny a hug. <laughs> I like and, and then looks over their shoulder at the other two and like. I like the group hug. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I would like to activate. The group hug. Okay, Iris has never hugged anybody before, so she's gonna try. <laughs> she just like leans. And yeah, Manny just <laughs> gently pulls uh, Iris close into the hug, but like oh. very only very lightly touches. Like it's very like a, no, that's very, smart. a hover kind of a that's really smart, thing. yeah. But like wanting to make sure she feels included in the circle. <laughs> There's no actual physical contact, just more the idea of like this is my presence, I am here. Oh. I will let you lean in if you want to be touched. Manny's really good with people. They are not the smart, they're not the sharpest tool in the shed, but they have a very high EQ. They really do. After your group hug, as the four of you return to your dorm, Dahlia, you, Orpheus crawls out of your bag. Um, hey, Dahlia. Hey, what's up? Hey, um, do you think he was right? About what? I hope he was right about a lot of stuff, because... I, I do too, it's very helpful, but uh, he knew so much more than I ever did. I, I don't know anything. I came to you guys with the keys, and I'm Orpheus, right? Like that's my name, and Orpheus. That's what you, you are. Then yeah, that's your name. But Orpheus wasn't a god, right? Was he? I mean, technically, Persephone. Oh, I probably shouldn't say that right now. She's listening. Um, hmm, that is a good point to bring up. He. He called me Morpheus, but I'm.
Does that feel like who you are? Could that be you? It's just a letter off. I, I know that, but it doesn't sound right. And I, um, we listen to Hades Town, and that's, that's Euripides and all that. They're, they're not gods, and that's. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But, uh, oh, I guess this does bring up a good point. You're not the greatest at singing? And Orpheus is supposed to be the greatest musician in everything, everywhere. I can't carry a tune in a bucket. No, you can't. And that's okay. I'm really glad that you know that now. I'm still, I, I, I still think I'd make a better Jean Valjean than uh, the guy from the movie. Oh. I agree with you, but we cannot insult Hugh Jackman. Oh, wait, no, I meant Chabert. Chabert. Hugh Not Jackman. Hugh Jackman is a uh, national treasure. The other guy, the uh, kind of. Oh, yeah, we don't need the, do not utter his name in yeah. my room. There's a sign yeah, on no. the door that says, list of words you cannot say. I know, I know. The H word is on there and as is his name. And, you know, he's terrible. He was the worst. He was really bad at his job. And Les Mis. I mean, how did he not know his job? Anyway, no, I'm getting off track. Like. What if I'm, what if I'm not what I think I am? Well, you're already not a bunny, right? So I mean, is it thought. really too much of a stretch to think that you're not, that, that there's even more to discover? I just don't know. Sorry. No, it's okay. You don't have to apologize. Yeah. Anyway, um, I found this coupon for guess I'm a salad in your uh, backpack uh, for dinner. Oh my gosh, I've been looking everywhere for that. Yeah. Wait, how did you find this? I looked through my backpack last week. Oh, it was like deep in there. Like it it was kind of smushed up underneath, uh, you know that, that layer of granola valley, uh, oh, nature valley bar? Yeah. In every bag. Yeah. Well, that's also because I that. don't wear my bag because those things are so crumbly and I never want to get the theater dirty because that's just a crime. So I'd rather get my bag dirty. So I always eat over my bag. Yeah. No, I, I, I excavated it. Yeah. Well, thank you. And mm. hey, if you ever need to bounce some ideas off me, just let me know. I'm here to help you find out who you are. We can workshop a little bit. We can figure out what character you really are in life. It's it's like William Shakespeare said, all the world's a stage and all the men and women are merely players, right? They have their exits and they have their entrances. And one man in his time plays many parts. You're just in one of your parts right now. We got to figure out what your next part's going to be. I really hope it's a good part. Thank you, Dahlia. Yeah, of course, Orpheus. We cut over to Lennox's room. Uh, you have an email from Dregan55 about the football team. You know, uh, practice has been postponed for a little while due to, you know, safety hazards and the fire, but it looks like it's going to be picking up soon. Uh, you also have an email from Jersey Driver, who, uh, you know, is on the school He's he's on he's on the school board with you, but he's just uh, not as high up. And you have an email from unknown. Uh, it's weird. I have very specific filters to keep certain information away. How did it get through? Well, I guess I have to know. It's a mystery now. <laughs> Click, click. As you click it open, it is a scrambled line of code with an image attached. Uh, and underneath the image, in all lower caps, it says, hi. The image itself is very similar to the one from your text chain with uh, Kim, the ghost. Oh, sick. Um, hello, Kim. Question mark? 
sent. You get another email. This one, uh, the string of code is significantly shorter and underneath it is almost gibberish, but you are able to make it out. It's nice to talk to someone again. And that is where we are going to wrap this episode of New Pantheon Academia. So, my Watch name out, is Nanako. Kim's moving in on your man. Nanako is like, <laughs> Nanako, Brendan, Nanako, Brendan, Kim. Like, Lennox is like making bank over yeah, here. Yeah, rolling oh, wait, in it. Brendan has a thing for Lennox. Oh, absolutely. For if sure. you don't see it, open your eyes. <laughs> Brendan doesn't have a thing for Lennox. Lennox definitely has a thing for Brendan. It's one or the other. I would read that fan fiction. <laughs> All right, everyone. My name is Stephen Pope. Uh, you can find me online at Stephen Pope 101 on TikTok and Stephen J Pope 22. Not on Twitter though, because fuck turfs. Really, you still don't have your account back? Nope. I'd probably just make a new one, shouldn't I? Like, haven't you? Like, have you appealed for anything? Like, I have. What are you gonna do? But okay, Aki, where can they find you online? Hi, everybody. I'm Aki, and you can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Genie in a Bottle. That's M X G I N I I N A B O T T L E. Um, and you can find me uh, and all of my uh, various streams and schedule over on my personal Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Shidari Aki. That's S H I D A. A R E A K I. Um, and I'm going to talk about it instead of letting Steven do it because it's my thing and I can. But if you catch me here in two weeks on when, uh, Wednesday, January 27th, my show that I am producing with Saving Throw Show, All Games No Masters, starts at 7 p.m. starting uh, two weeks from now. And I'm really, really Ooh, excited. We just, so excited. just announced the show and the cast. Um, and it should be lots and lots of fun. We are featuring game systems that, redu that don't require require any game masters so no yeah yeah just players just players Nobody, no nobody's in charge of this ship so we'll see what happens that is lovely i cannot wait for that show um all right uh speaking of shows new and returning uh eric do we have any info on salt butts yet uh yeah hi everyone uh re uh, uh salt bay will be returning we um we don't have the date yet we will be um i don't even know if we can talk about that yet dom dom can we talk okay uh there there will be a saving throw marathon uh on the 7th of february oh, uh, which this show, yeah this show will be a part of that at, as well as salt bay uh which we will be previewing some of the new stuff that we're working on for the new season which we're not quite ready to talk about but we'll uh the the, the season premiere will be sometime shortly after that but so we will be reconvening uh with special guests and stuff like that for the big the big marathon that's coming the seventh uh to raise money for the trevor project which should be yes! very very fun uh oh on the 7th. But yeah, in, until then, you can always just check me out on, on all the social media that matters, mostly Eric, including Twitter and Twitch. <laughs> I love it. R.I.P. Mika. Where can they find Hi. you? <laughs> you can find me on any social media site at R.I.P. Mika, such as Rest in Peace Mika, because I tend to die in most games that I play. Hopefully not this one. Dahlia will live forever. Um, <laughs> uh, and sure. also... Every Sunday on Saving Throw Show at 7 p.m. Eastern, you can find me right here playing uh, this wonderful new Pantheon game, as Dahlia previously mentioned. <laughs> awesome. Uh, Kelly. Uh, you can find me on all social media at Kelly Nugy, K E L L Y N U G E E. Um, check out any of my podcasts, Teen Creeps, or Same Day Shipping. Let's say and or. And or. Yeah. Listen to those. Heck, go back uh, to the archive. Listen to all the other ones she's done. She's yeah. Done. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, or, God. you know, yeah. Okay, fine. Yeah. Go back and listen to any of my other podcasts. Uh, you know what? I'm going to plug this one. Listen to Exile. Listen to Exile. I put a lot of my fucking heart and soul into that, into that 
story. Um, if you like narrative horror that makes you sad, check it out. Exile uh -huh. anywhere you listen to your podcasts. Scary things and sad things. Oh, oh yeah. Kelly, you have my number. <laughs> Special thanks to Dom Zook for running everything behind the scenes. And thank you all for tuning in tonight. Now, as we mentioned, we are expecting some amazing new content coming soon, including Salt Butts, and I will not be calling us at the things, and All, ga all Games No Masters. Uh, that's right, right, Aki? All Games No Masters, that's the name? Perfect, great. Nailed it in one. But make sure you check out our Magic the Gathering D&D flavored game, Dice X Machina, a game set in the land of Theros. They might have moved from Theros. I don't know. But come on. It's great. Riley runs it. And she is a queen whom we must stan. I have no say in the matter, and neither do you. I'm sorry, Your Honor. She is a queen. We must stan. Uh, so we will be back next week. Same bat time, same bat channel. My name is Stephen Pope, and I have to live with that every day. And until next time, catch you later.